Hello, my gorgeous Capricorns. This is Debs and this is your reading for March 2023. Capricorn, the only thing I heard in meditation was, I've got money in my pocket. I've got the wind in my hair. Life is good. And I saw good in block capitals with an exclamation mark. I also saw just as I sat down to record 12, 12 on the clock. Now, two is about making a decision. One is a brand new cycle. Three, two and one is three, is about change. And if you add it all together, 12, 12 is six. Six is balance. So Capricorn, you're somehow achieving balance in your life by making a decision to embrace change and start a brand new cycle. Literally, that's what that means. Okay. So, guys, are you ready? Shall we find out what this is? I don't know, Cappy, maybe for some of you, you're booking a holiday. You're changing your career. You're starting something brand new. It felt very light, Cappy. Let's just see. Let's just see. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Capricorns, March 2023. March 2023. Yeah, I can see someone on a very long straight road changing gear and putting their foot down. You're on the move, Capricorn. You're on the move. Whether it's literal, whether or not it's symbolic, you're on the move. Okay. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Haniel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Azriel, Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Michael. Leaving the past behind is what I'm hearing. Onwards and upwards. Okay. Okay. Mm. Sounds exciting, guys. The Empress. Wow. Capricorn. You're giving birth to a new cycle. For some of you, you've got Taurus or Libra in your chart. For the majority of you, you have achieved Empress level. Four of Coins. You're hanging on to what you've got, Capricorn. And you're simply moving forward into a place of expansion. That's what I feel. Now, if you're a masculine Capricorn, you could be hanging on to an empress, okay? In the past, Ten of Cups, lots of happiness, lots of getting together with family is what I'm feeling. After that, we have the star. Now, the star is maybe healing a family dynamic. Or Capricorn, you may have done extremely well in your career. Maybe you're building a business. Yeah, okay. What you're thinking about is the devil. Okay, Capricorn. I'm hearing trying to rein in the spending. Okay. <laughs> Capricorn, life is good generally. You may think to yourself, I've overcome the devil. But of course, the devil card, sadly, is also you. So are you thinking, what do I want in my life going forward? You may be trying to steer clear of overindulgence, hanging on to your money. But there's a sense that in general, whether you're in a relationship or whether this is just you and your family, your parents, your siblings, life is pretty good. Seven of Wands. Okay, Capricorn, whoever is coming forwards towards you, you're putting up some defences. It's as if you're protecting you and yours, your peace, your calm energy, your finances. You're in protection mode. You're forging forward. What you're fearing is the energy of the Queen of Swords. You could be fearing, Capricorn, that you're going to have to speak your truth to a few people. 
You could be fearing that you're going to have to move into the energy of the Queen of Swords simply to speak a few home truths. If you're believing that some people are going to come forward to you with the energy of the devil, wanting to be indulged, wanting your time and attention, wanting to be entertained, you're pushing those people away. And you may realise that you're going to have to be pretty strong about that. In the environment is a seven of cups. Capricorn, somebody is fantasizing about being with you, but they could be dating other people as well. This is somebody who believes that you could also give them a good life. This is somebody thinking, wow, if I was with Capricorn, sat in the energy of the Empress, I could have a wonderful life. She's strong, she's stable. For some of you, you are literally a star. She could create a beautiful home. Capricorn, someone may be a bit obsessed with you. But you seem to be pushing this person away. You're in a very powerful, I'm hearing, bubble of light. And you're protected. What you're hoping to achieve is to simply continue to move forward and carry on building, carry on expanding. Maybe if you run a business, you're opening another business. Maybe you're bringing in three streams of income or that's what you want. You're hard at work, Capricorn, but you are a hard worker. I think this is you protecting what you have working extremely hard, holding on to what you've got and pushing people away. I've got to be honest. Ace of Wands, but oh my goodness, Capricorn, there's going to be somebody coming in who wants to start a connection with you. There's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry between the two of you. And you're going to have to figure out if you want to move into that connection with this person. Because you have been, maybe for some of you, on your own for a time. Clarification for you. Yeah, absolutely. Nine of Pentacles. I'm dealing with an Empress here who is single. Capricorn, you've been very happy on your own. But maybe you're thinking, is it time to let someone into my life? Queen of Wands. Wow, Capricorn. I'm dealing with somebody here who is abundant. Maybe you've had a few bills to pay, you're hanging on to what you've got, but you actually are, in effect, sitting in the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you know you can rebuild this Four of Pentacles very easily. You're also extremely attractive with the energy of the Queen of Wands. You're trying to push down being overindulgent either with yourself, trying not to spend too much money, or you're thinking that somebody who may be coming towards you may not have the right intentions. And you've got no qualms in speaking your truth, but you're fearful that whatever you say may come out as being a little bit harsh. But look at this opportunity, Ace of Wands. So Capricorn, whoever is sat in the Seven of Cups, fantasizing about being with you, fantasizing about having a life with you, could be a Leo, is believing that you would bring a lot of happiness into their life. Yes, they could grow with you, they could expand with you, you could create a beautiful foundation, a lovely home, you could live a good life together. Yeah. Capricorn, this is someone who has been missing you, maybe thinking about you from afar, fantasizing again about their ship coming in with you. Underneath the deck, okay, 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 I've got you, I've got you, all right. Capricorn, a story is unfolding. With the Five of Cups, I think you've been through it in terms of relationships. I think you've pushed through, you're incredibly strong. I think you've got your head down, you're working very hard. You still remember some disappointment from the past. 
But you turn that disappointment into a lot of financial stability for yourself. Working, working, working. With the five of swords, it's almost as if you've surrounded yourself with very high walls. You got yourself out of a very unfulfilling situation and you literally escaped. I just want to get away from this person. I just want to get away from the situation. But what you don't realise is with the energy of the magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy, is that you are actually manifesting the Ace of Cups because you've learned your lessons. Now that person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Just saying, underneath that card, we got the Faith card. This is all divinely guided. Oh my goodness, underneath that, we got the Wheel of Fortune. And oh my Lord, underneath that, we got the Four of Wands. Okay, Capricorn, the divine is trying to tell you that they understand that you've had to put up strong boundaries. They understand that you're very nervous about opening up to anyone new, letting somebody into your life, but they are saying it's time to consider companionship is what I'm hearing. All right. Yes. And I've just looked at the clock and it is 1221, which also breaks down to a six. The divine wants you to consider bringing balance to your life, Capricorn, by allowing someone to come into your life. So you're going to need to consider that because this person's coming in in the month of March. Here we go, Capricorn. Archangel Michael, what is the energy, please, of the Empress? Cross with the Four of Coins. Thank you. Yes. Six of Swords. So, Capricorn, you've moved yourself to calmer waters, literally. You could have recently moved location. I feel as if you've learned a lot of lessons. You've ascended into Empress energy. And you're leaving the past behind. What is Capricorn leaving behind? What is Capricorn leaving behind? Okay, bless you. Capricorn, you're leaving behind an old cycle where there was a lot of confusion. There were a lot of lessons learned. You might have been entangled in somebody's energy that was difficult to extract yourself from. What is Capricorn leaving behind? Yes, heartbreak. Okay. So Capricorn, whether or not this was 10 years ago, whether or not this was six months ago, you've been through it, you've got through it, and you've been working on your own stability. What energy is Capricorn sitting in? What energy is Capricorn sitting in? Beautiful ace of coins. Capricorn, you're concentrating on your foundation. You could be waiting for a lump sum of money to come in. You're absolutely determined to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Yes. Yes. Capricorn, you are determined to move into the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. You're on a mission. You could be simply wanting to clear debt. You could be dreaming of purchasing your first home. You could be dreaming of giving yourself just a very secure life as you get older. You're moving into a divinely guided new cycle. I feel as I'm seeing this person put their foot down. You're really shifting forward. What was the Ten of Cups? What was the Ten of Cups? Okay, the chariot, Cancerian energy. So Capricorn, you may have been in a relationship with a Cancerian. Or you moved away from family. Maybe family was holding you back in some way. What's the energy of the star? What's the energy of the star? 
Yes. Capricorn, you needed some time on your own. You needed some time to really think about things. You could have been thinking about an Aquarius or a Virgo. But this is you, I think, in quiet contemplation. The star and the hermit. Very spiritual energy. So I don't know whether or not you were caught up with parents or siblings or aunts and uncles, people that wanted your time, attention and energy. You detached, extracted yourself from what might have been a little bit of a toxic family dynamic. You really needed the space. So you could actually have moved in recent times. What you're thinking about is you, okay, you're also contemplating that you want to push away anyone unhealthy, sitting in toxic energy. You're also trying your best not to be overindulgent yourself. Yeah. Yes. Wow. High priestess. I think Capricorn, this is you. For many of you, you are on a light worker path. You're not communicating with many people at the moment, maybe just within your community. You are trying to use your intuition about somebody who may be coming in. What is Capricorn thinking about? Yeah, the strength card. I've got to have the strength, courage and confidence to hold back. So what you're thinking about Capricorn is, even if this is somebody who comes in wanting to be with you, Dreaming of a life with you. What you're thinking about is I've got to be strong enough to hold back because I think they may be sitting in toxic energy. They may not be, but that's your thought process. I've got to protect myself. And this is you, Seven of Wands. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Seven of Wands come in for my Capricorn next to the Seven of Cups? Interesting, we've got two sevens. It's a spiritual number. Thank you, Michael. 14th of April, 23rd of April, 11th of May. I'm seeing someone say to themselves, I think that's enough. Okay. It might be Capricorn. Somebody is filling up your inbox with messages. Somebody could be sending you a lot of texts, a lot of emails. You're deciding to push this person away. You're deciding to push this person away. What is on Capricorn's mind? Yeah, you, Queen of Coins. Queen of Coins. Capricorn, you're turning your back on this person. What you're looking at is the Wheel of Fortune. I am concentrating on my foundation. I'm not interested in people that come in wanting my attention maybe wanting to be indulged. You could be sat in a little bit of overly suspicious energy, Capricorn, but I feel as if you've almost got blinkers on. You're just moving forward. Yeah. What else is Capricorn thinking about? Yeah, Ace of Swords. You're in a sort of energy that suggests that you don't want to be bothered. You don't want to be messaged. You're consciously detaching from anyone or anything that held you back in the past. You made a clean cut. You're not wanting to go back there again. So if you do have people coming back to you, you're, I'm afraid, going to be sitting in the Queen of Swords energy, hoping it's not going to sound too unpleasant or too harsh. But you don't want to get yourself embroiled with people that you feel kind of want to hang on to your coattails. You're just not interested. What is Capricorn thinking about? Yeah, your manifestation, those to you that are nearest and dearest, your community, your family. You're definitely connected to the divine. This is you hoping and praying to keep manifesting your stability. That is literally what you're hoping for. 
Yeah, the hangman. Pisces energy. You could have Pisces in your chart. Capricorn, you are absolutely not moving. <laughs> The hangman energy is you sitting in quiet reflection about your future. Try not to be pulled into any negative energy, not responding to messages or texts and simply thinking about your foundation. You are so driven moving forward. Yeah. What is on Capricorn's mind? What is on Capricorn's mind? Wow, yeah, Capricorn. Knight of Swords, Page of Wands. So Capricorn, what this is, is you moving towards this person or maybe up to seven people wanting to be in your life, wanting your attention, wanting to take you out. You're very strong. Knight of Swords is you rushing in, basically saying, I'm not interested. Because these people are sitting in the energy of the Page of Wands. If this is one person or several people, this is just the energy of someone poking at you. Hey, Capricorn, what are you doing? Hey, but Capricorn, are you around tomorrow night? Hey, Capricorn, can I see you at the weekend? You're not dealing with pages. Capricorn. You're not and you're very happy to stand up for yourself and let these people know that you've got, I'm hearing, bigger fish to fry. You're busy, you're absolutely determined to move forward, you're not going to let anyone deter you from your success. Yeah. What is on Capricorn's mind? Yeah, Seven of Wands. Lots of fiery messages back to these people who may just be irritating you, coming forward in this childish energy. I'm sorry, I'm hearing that. I mean, this could be you literally saying to whoever this is or this group of people, please leave me alone, seriously. Please don't message me anymore. I'm just not interested. It's as if you have to keep repeating yourself because they're just not getting it. <laughs> These could be younger fire signs who are very attracted to you. But no matter what they look like, Capricorn, you are firmly sat in Empress energy. You're just not interested. You're not interested. Gabby, what is going on? What is Capricorn thinking about? What is Capricorn thinking about? What is Capricorn thinking about, Michael? Oh, okay. Okay. What you're thinking about, Capricorn, is the tower. The tower is a shock. You may be hearing from someone who was sat in the energy of the emperor, could be an Aries, who may be telling you that they're getting divorced or that they want to come and see you. But remember, we're clarifying the seven of wands. That is defense. That is no. Okay, that's what you're thinking about. What is going to happen here for Capricorn? Yeah. Okay, Capricorn, this is somebody turning up from the past. You could have felt a very strong past life connection with this person. For some of you, Twin Flame. You may have known this person a very long time. It may not have worked because perhaps they were married to somebody else. This is going to be a temptation. But you're being defensive. Archangel Michael, what is this person's energy? They're fantasizing about being with you. They're sending you messages. What is this person's energy? Eight of Cups. All right, Capricorn. 
They could be moving to your area. They could have walked away from a very unfulfilling situation. If this person has got divorced, they could have had a lot of options at their feet, but they are choosing to walk away from those options and to communicate with you. They want to be with you. Yeah, Capricorn, this is someone who I think has gone through divorce, dividing the assets. Yes, King of Swords. If they tell you that, then they're telling you the truth. They could have just ended a legal situation, speaking to a divorce lawyer. What are they saying to Capricorn? What are they saying to Capricorn? Yeah, justice. They've gone through a legal situation and they are single. This for you, Capricorn, is going to be challenging because this could previously have been someone that you moved away from because they were in a relationship with somebody else. They're coming back to you. Now, this could have been years later, but they're going to come back to you within the month of March to say, I am basically going to be or am a free man. And I want to reconnect with you. Everything inside you, Capricorn, is going to say no, 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 no. But this is a very powerful connection. This is not just any old person. This is the person that in an ideal world before, I think you would have wanted to walk off into the sunset with. Problem is, when you met this person before, they were in another relationship. So they're coming back to you as somebody now who is single and available. But Capricorn, you're sitting in the Seven of Wands. It could be a very emotional time. You could be thinking back at memories you shared with this person. Am I right in pushing them away? I know I've just been concentrating on my own stability. It's going to be tough. What is this person saying to Capricorn? Yeah, judgment, Sagittarian energy. What they're saying is, is that they've made a decision to end a long-term situation. Yeah. <laughs> Five of coins. What they're saying, Capricorn, is, is that they don't have a lot to bring to the table, maybe because they've gone through divorce, but they're missing you and they are now available What is the energy between these two people? Yeah, two of wands. Capricorn, it's almost as if you've got the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other. You don't know if this is just going to draw you back into some kind of toxic energy because this person possibly lied to you in the past, possibly deceived you in the past. You're thinking about that. Or whether or not this is someone that you are actually destined to come back together with. Now that they are single, you're very nervous about making this decision. You may be in your head for the whole of March. You may say to this person, I need some time. OK, you may. OK, Archangel Michael, what is the Ace of Wands? The Divine is giving you the chance to have a passionate new start with this person. Page of Cups. They're going to come in, first of all, Capricorn, with an apology. So for many of you, this is somebody who didn't treat you well in the past. This could have been a third party situation. This is someone who wants to apologise to you sincerely. What is their energy? The Knight of Cups. Could be a water sign. Could be slightly younger than you. This is someone who knows that you've been holding back from them or that you probably would hold back from them. They do have love for you. This is somebody incredibly romantic. What is on Capricorn's mind? The Fool, Aries energy. Capricorn, what you're thinking about is... I could take a leap of faith and a risk with this person. They are free. They're on a brand new journey. I'm forging forward. I'm financially stable by myself. What you're thinking about is 
This is the chance to make a change. This is a chance to bring somebody that I feel a very strong connection with back into my life. Do I want to do that? A lot of you are going to say absolutely not because the trust is simply gone. Some of you will need some time to think about this because this is going to be a very strong temptation and it may not be an overindulgent temptation because this person is now single. So you've got some thinking to do. What is on this person's mind? What is on this person's mind? Yeah, the death card, Scorpio. This is someone who strongly believes that because they've ended a chapter of their life and transformed their situation, basically now they're single, that there's no reason why you would push them away. King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for some. This is someone, Capricorn, could simply be a Scorpio male who does love you. They may struggle in opening up and expressing their emotions, but they do love you. And this is someone who wants you to give them a chance. Yes. Oh, Capricorn, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Knight of Coins. They do have the right intentions. They're very happy to take this slowly. This is someone who wants to prove to you that you can rely on them. They're not going to put pressure on you. They're happy to take it slowly. But oh my goodness. What they're dreaming about is to become your king of pentacles. And to come back together with you and reunite. So guys, we've got the king and queen of pentacles and the king of cups. So I think this is someone who wants commitment. They do love you. What you may be thinking about the Capricorn is they aren't sitting in emperor energy. Now, they could simply be a little bit younger than you, or you may be nervous that this person hasn't fully ascended. I've got to say it to be worthy of you, to be worthy of you. But look at this beautiful energy, Capricorn. What is on Capricorn's mind? The world. That this is a chance to move into a brand new cycle with someone who loves you, with somebody who wants to commit to you, with someone you've known before. And with someone that you share a very deep soul contract with. This is the divine saying, we're going to give you an opportunity to move into this new cycle. Unbeknown to you, Capricorn, you have actually manifested this. You have. Yes, you've had issues and problems in other relationships. Maybe this person broke your heart in the past but you've concentrated on your own stability, you've moved forward, you've escaped other people who've tried to stop you moving forward, people that have caused you problems, you've just shifted your energy away from that and you've actually manifested this person coming back. That's what I feel. So the divine is asking you to make a decision, Capricorn, in the month of March. Do you want to move forward into a commitment with this person? Do you want to stay single? What is Capricorn thinking about? Five of Wands. Maybe there was conflict with this person before. Are you worried you're going to have to fight off the competition for this person in the future? Is this somebody extremely attractive? You're worried. What is Capricorn thinking about? Yeah, you're thinking that it's taken you a long time to build your financial security. You're doing very well, but you're really wanting someone who is completely loyal. 
Do you feel this person will be completely loyal to you? If there's any doubt in your mind, Capricorn, what you've got to analyse is, is it because of what I've been through that I simply don't trust and that's my issue? Or is it that I genuinely feel I just can't trust this particular person? If you don't feel you can trust this particular person, you may, for many of you, decide to turn your back. Thank you, but no thank you. Wish them well, be gracious, be kind, but say no. For others of you, if you recognise within yourself that you've had a tendency to push people away out of fear of getting your heart broken again, and it's simply that, you may decide to open the door to this person. Yes, it's going to take time. You don't want to rush into anything too fast too soon. But this could be moving you into a really beautiful connection with somebody who genuinely loves you. Do we have any final cards, please, for my lovely Capricorns? What is on Capricorn's mind? Six of Wands. Capricorn, for some of you, you're going to feel a sense that justice has been done. If this is somebody that hurt you in the past, they're coming back, they're single, they're apologising, and there may be a sense of, well, at least they've come back to balance the scales. A little bit of smug energy. I knew they'd be back in the end, right? It could be with the Six of Wands. This is you thinking, I am in a very successful place in my life. My career is really good. Do I want to potentially jeopardize that for somebody that wasn't honest with me in the past? Is it going to affect my work? Do I have time for a relationship? Do I work six, seven days a week? Would I be happy to change my work schedule to let this person into my life? You're thinking about all this. Final card, please, for my Capricorns. Final card for my Capricorns. So there we have the Ace of Cups. This is a card that came through underneath the energy of the Magician at the beginning of the reading. So a brand new opportunity for love is on the table. So Capricorn, I'm not going to tell you what you're going to do because for each of you, it's going to be different. For some of you, you're absolutely going to push this person away. For others of you, you may well give this person a chance. Whatever you decide to do, just think about the reason why you will be saying yes or no. Okay, let's get some messages from this person. Here we go, Capricorn, Charming Oracle Secret Love Messages. Archangel Michael, may we have a message from this person to my lovely Capricorns? Thank you. I feel so connected with you. Even though we are miles apart, I can still feel you like you're sitting right next to me. You're always with me. Capricorn, this is somebody who never forgot you. This is someone who I think has changed their situation. And they're wanting to sound you out, basically. Yeah, I'm thinking about sending you a message because I want to explain things to you. All right. They may want to explain why they did what they did in the past. They do want to have a proper conversation. Wow. OK, I never meant to reject you. My heart was saying yes, but the fear was just too overwhelming. Now, the fear could have been that this person had to disconnect from somebody else or this person simply hadn't stopped playing the field. They weren't ready to commit and they realised they lost a big opportunity of being with the right person, Capricorn, which is you. What else would they want to say to Capricorn? Goodness me, I'm not good at expressing my feelings. I wish you could just look into my heart and feel all the love I have for you. So this is someone who may struggle in opening up and expressing their emotions. 
final message from this person to Capricorn. Yeah. This is what you've got to think about, Capricorn. I want to leave the past behind us and start all over with you. So my beautiful Capricorns, for some of you, this is going to be a wish come true. For others of you, you're going to be nervous, you're going to be scared. Think about why you would push this person away. Is it simply fear? Is it simply worry that this person would hurt you again? If it is, you need to get to know this person again. Take it day by day. Spend time with them. And you will know, Capricorn, whether or not this could work out in the future. But guys, I think this is a wonderful reading. Cappy, I'm going to leave it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.